Hi everyone. Welcome. I'm Dan. I'm Chris. And today we're going to talk to you about a misunderstood group. The Vikings. Now who are the Vikings? Well, I am a Viking actually. Yes, aren't we all? Yes. The Vikings were a the infamous culture and a, a quite amazing culture, as some would put it after researching them, that had a, a tremendous effect culturally, intellectually, and economically on Europe for many centuries. Yeah, so here are top ten facts that you might not know about the Vikings. Number one, they had a, as put, they have a huge influence in law of Europe. Yes, not many people know that. The amount of influence they had on the jury system. That, you know, eventually carried over into the United States, a, a being tried by a jury of your peers. Before that, a lot of times you would use, you'd come to the king and he would decide your fate based on what God said. This is the first time we see people being, giving evidence and telling people. And they selected a certain number of jurors due to the magnitude of the crime, of which course. is also similar to what we have here. And this, it was, they were called the... The, the jurors they had originally, they, it was really interjected into the Dane law, which was the region conquered and taken over by the Vikings in England. Right. Between, you know, the mid, you know, ninth to about the 10th century, yes. Vikings didn't have horns on their helmet. That's number two. Yep, they did not. There, that wouldn't even be, it wasn't, it's not even theoretically, it wouldn't, it's not practical for battle to have any horn with, with the battle formation they had. The shield wall wouldn't even been practical to have horns, and no, they have found no battle helmets that have any kind of horns. There's theories that that the that, that Viking helmets with horns were likely used for ceremonial purposes. Yeah, I believe they found a few horns, what with wings or something that may look like a horn. They're not, they're not sure. But these were largely used for ritual. Ritual. Yeah. Number three, three is they were not Russians are descended from Vikings. They are, and for many, many years in communist Russia, they would pump up the idea of racial superiority, talking about how they all came from the Slavs. But in the 90s, they finally had to actually bring down, you know, what was tr truth, and they said the Rus were descendants of the Vikings. Yeah, by the way, the name Russia, or Russia, comes from the... the Nordic word meaning to row or men who row. So, That's right. The Rus. Ru so, Russia or Russia was founded by the men who rowed up the river. Yeah, a major influence. And wasn't admitted really till the 1990s. Number four, some believe that, that the Norse were a lot more egalitarian in terms of women. There is ideas um, and evidence. I don't know what more evidence has been accumulated on that idea. Um, though we, a lot of it we take from their spiritual understanding. Right. They had goddesses that were... War goddesses. War goddesses that warriors would pray to. One, and if, when you died and went to Valhalla... The Valkyrie would come. The and, Valkyrie would come. So there's a, there's, there's a closer... Uh, yeah, equal... Yeah. In fact... A lot, a lot of women could own property. Yes. She can divorce her husband. For being unfaithful. Yeah, there was there was a little bit. There's a lot more control there. Yes, yeah, so it, it's a lot more closer to modern uh, uh, law than than medieval. Um, Nords were actually very hygienic, actually, believe it or not, compared yep, to, to they Europe. They took a shower once a week. Well, I'd say a bath, well, more, more like frequent a, than the average European. Well, it's more like a bath because they didn't really have showers. No, no, they didn't take long. Well, yeah, I know. Yeah, I mean, there's no. Yeah, there's no evidence. I mean, you could poke holes in a bucket and hang it over a tree, or go under a waterfall. There you go. But yes, they actually have known to actually bathe. You no, know, they was usually the ocean. Yes, or, or, or the lakes. The ocean. Yeah, and they'd clean off. Or if you were an, a yarl, you'd you'd have a uh, you'd have a, t a personal tub that was heated for you. Yeah, and they also found combs. Combs. Comb their hair. I mean, I mean, if you had that method, they don't want split hair. ends or anything. They they definitely had. Uh, they definitely took care of their hair. Yeah, you, everyone from from a yarl to a, to a, to a thrall, which is a slave, would it was required to bathe. And comb their hair. Norse actually had a really uh, number. Is Norse actually had a very, and uh, their very, their technology was actually very advanced compared to some of the other European powers. 
Yeah, they definitely, well, they had amazing trade routes set up and, and definitely which acquired from, resources that which, were very precious. Which came from the Viking longship or the dragon yep. ships. Yep, and they, you were talking about Uthrid. Uthrid, yes, also. Amazing steel. steel amazing steel, they, which they believed had been imported from the Arabs, the technology they'd use. A, and it might have come from China, I believe. The Chinese actually were one of the first to, to, to develop blast furnaces, but they believe that the that, that the Arabs imported a kiln, which allowed them to create a single ingot, which they could make into an amazing sword or, or your spear. And yeah, and their and their craftsmanship with their boats, yes, was amazing. Well, with better and steel, you can be a lot more fine. Will, will you cut? No, number uh, seven. They were actually fairly intelligent in terms of, of na navigation and even te tactics. True. I mean, they, they, they were completely, I mean, the, the, the long ships that they've recreated. Could go from, from was, was, sea. Were, were amazing. Well, and they can get in between in the aisles and lakes and rivers. Yes. And they'll come up and sneak up and, and, and deploy their troops, you know, they, in an expedient way. They were the original Marines. Correct. Yeah. They actually, uh, the, the, there's been evidence from Vikings going all the way from the, from Baghdad to Newfoundland, Newfoundland in Canada. And possibly to Oklahoma. Right. There's a runestone they found in Oklahoma. I've spoken to, I think, one individual that believes that's fake. Right, of course. Though I don't know. I mean, he said it's fake. He said, oh, I don't know. Why would Vikings walk that far, though? They didn't really demonstrate how it was, so we don't know. I'll research that out more. It's interesting. Yeah, but the, the the rune stone they found in Oklahoma. They think a number on uh, number eight. They think that the Viking in Niagara Falls. They went. Oh to, yeah, they went to, they went of to course they went to Niagara Falls. I mean, who doesn't want to go to Niagara Falls? So number eight, the uh, Viking uh, age might have been started out of protecting their own homeland. Yeah, the Viking Viking expansion is traditionally understood as well. A bunch of guys wanted to go out and raid. They and raiding England. was frequent. Ra raiding was a common way of life yeah. for most people all over the world. But at this time, at this time, Charlemagne. Yes, Char yeah. Charlemagne, Emperor of the Carolinian Empire. The Carolinian Empire it's was right. expanding into pagan territory to the north the saxons and converting them many of them went to, to england but were you know, eventually christianized but there's many of them left with their territory still intact and charlemagne and, and most of the in the church was moving in and you know that that threatened them all geopolitically they threatened they basically forced conversion by the end well, at the tip of the sword you can read up on the the massacre of verden who beheaded many people for for going to battle with him, I mean, it was it was it was a war crime. That explain that's partially why they actually got for a while got along with the English because the English had had recently only converted from paganism to Christianity. Yeah, and the Viking and, and, and just around this time, well, I mean, there's also it's been recorded many of the Saxon, uh, well, Saxon king in general who was very, um, very very dominant in 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 attacking Charlemagne's forces. There, there's ma there's many campaigns around you know the late you know seven you know in, in the late sixth century there's there's massive um, campaigns against the pagans right. and a lot of them went into Denmark and sought alliance so with, it would be understood are. sure it would be understood the Vikings the Viking people from Denmark to Norway to to Sweden, to Sweden would have had this information. They were traders. They talk. They they hear well. Christians are encroaching on our territory. They have money. They're encroaching on our territory. They've got money. It, they need to be destroyed. We need money and resources. And that's correct. And the trade routes were very very because, stale after the Roman Empire of course. drained off in the fifth century. Well, because without 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 those roads being capped up, they can you know people weren't moving as much. Yeah. Yeah, and then they're like, you, we're, we're down on resources, and we don't like these people. Right. And England was one of the first places recorded to be atta attacked and Lindisfarne. raided. And, you know, it was 
alone it was it was it was it was a strategic point going straight in to the Frankish kingdom into yeah. the Carolinian into the heart of the Carolinian empire would not be strategic that's going into their strength you if they they, they, they saw England they said this is a generally unprotected island it's a backwater country right? and yeah and most of their monasteries that were piled with money were generally unprotected and they they struck it right in there Right, so number nine, actually, interesting, speaking of uh, rating, is, is Vikings started actually shaping much of Europe's um, city cities this day. I mean, they found cities like Dublin, um, Rouen in France. I believe Edinburgh was also a influenced by the, the Danes. Correct. York. York, despite being the capital. Iceland. Well especially, well, especially Iceland. With it, I mean, look at the, their capital, Reykjavik, was actually yeah, of course. it's entirely Nordic. It's totally Scandinavian country. <laughs> the uh, Iceland, Iceland and Greenland. It was around the tenth century. Uh, Normandy, tenth century Iceland was massive. Tenth, no, no, ninth and tenth, nine, not, not in the ninth and tenth century. Uh, you know, Iceland was heavily colonized. Yes, uh, so you also had uh, uh, Rouen and. Nor- and Normandy, which was uh, a Viking territory given to, to the, uh, given to them by the by the Carolinian Army to say, just go away, stop attacking us, and you can have this land. Yeah. And that and that and no- <clears throat> fun part is no- Normandy actually is where William the Conqueror <clears throat> or William the First of England came Correct. from. Correct, he was a descendant of Vikings. They're French-ish Vikings. Yeah, they're kind of mixed. They're mixed, but they eventually the Vikings did have the last laugh over a long, many centuries of warring with Britain. Yes, and they the, kind of did have the last laugh. In fact, actually, that's why why a lot of our language in English is has French ton, well, and Nordic tons of Nordic dialect. I mean, if you have you heard Skull? Yeah, it's Nordic. It's it's its origins are of 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 of, of Danish, right? Skull, skid, scale, yeah. Seagull. Oh, of course. And number and finally, up. And, yeah, and finally number ten. Uh, Nords were pretty shrewd traders. True. Yes, yeah. so I was speaking to one historian that. Pause. I was speaking to one historian that was talking. That's right. So you're saying that that you met a trader. Yeah, uh, a he was an historian. He was doing a reenactment, and he was holding this horn and. I said, what, what, what's the meaning of this prop? And he's like, well, Vikings constructed a horn that looked like a unicorn. <laughs> and they would go around to Mideastern traders who believed in unicorns. And I guess you were saying earlier, unicorns are in the Bible. Well, it's a mistranslation. And then I guess they would be also in the Quran as well. Well, back in, Maybe. Back in the, if anybody's ever, ever seen uh, the original Genesis, there was a mis- the translation was unicorn was was actually supposed to be rhinoceros because rhinoceros you look at them have a single horn correct but they they thought it was a unicorn right because people because it means one horn but But, but yeah they'd go to these traders and they'd say hey here's your unicorn and these guys would just get excited they also the vikings had this and they would buy it for large sums of money it also was total bullshit they also traded furs which which was huge luxury in arabia they just took a deer a, a, a deer antler and they just they just carved it they did they did some 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 kind of work to carve it in or they could have used um wood could have used yeah they, they i i forget what how exactly what it was comprised of but it was interesting yes they also yeah also they were like nigerian scam artists of the day <laughs> if you give us gold we'll give you a unicorn horn <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, I hope no one interprets this as any any kind of apologetics. No. For for it was. I mean, the Dark Ages were a massively brutal period, and Vikings were, were just as brutal. Just as brutal, and that's kind of life. Though another thing about battle taxes is another misconception is battles were long, like you'd see in Braveheart. Not true. Yeah. I mean, back then you had very very thin resources. I'd say battles. As we have become more technologically advanced and wealthier in many nations, we've been able to become brutal. Yes. And because when you, back then you didn't have the money, you would often, and that, that is a fact. These are facts that support that. The, often Vikings would be bribed. They, both sides would often try to find a negotiation. They would trade uh, uh, hostages for peacetime. 
they had from they had they would they would try tremendous efforts to negotiate beforehand. Yeah, you could battle check. brutal battle was the last resort. Yes, and you can you can see they found loads of money with with tons of English monarchs around the tenth and eleventh century into the ninth. I mean, uh, you know, of 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 all this money they were paying the Vikings, they found all the their currency on in Viking graves, loads of it. I mean, they were just paid. Yeah, paid to just stop, and they stop said, the rating. And they said shrewd businessmen. True. I mean, because it's understandable. You would, you're imagine yourself. Uh, you're all the way from home. You don't have a ton of food. You can't go to Ralph's. You can't. You <laughs> can't. You can't airdrop food like they do with military uh, today. I mean, you you were fucked out there. Yes. You you did not, uh, especially in battle too. I mean, you're talking about a bunch of injured men, and whatever kind of medical technology you had plus you need to get food i mean you're 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 the people who would go and get food signs were often dead these were a lot of things you know these generals would have to account these commanders would have to account for in these battles all right so i think that's it for uh, top 10 th- facts about vikings you may have not known yes and we will be putting up the citations yes we will be put look look in below for links to the uh our citations um Go check out us uh, on our other channel, Random Media Guys, where we talk about news, movies, and just vlog. And we will be continuing some interesting history topics. So I'm Dan. I'm Chris. This has been Random History Guys. We'll be uploading a video, at least one video each week. And please leave a comment below about facts you found interesting. Yeah. And we'll see you guys later. Take it easy.